she won the lottery. Mm. Okay. Apartment. Beach. An apartment. An apartment. Okay. Tommy, Lizzie, do you agree? I think it was a motorcycle, no? She won't buy a motorcycle. Know. Okay, oh, it's apartment and motorcycle. Lizzie, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with them with the apartment and motorcycle. It's both? Well, I think uh, for me, the answer is an apartment. Okay, so that's two against one. I'm gonna go for apartment then too. I'm gonna be outvoted by the women. <laughs> <laughs> I'll change right. my answer. <laughs> All right, we're going to check that anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> I think it's apartment because they're talking about buying a big house, so why would you buy an extra apartment? In a car. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I think he likes yeah. the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, question number two, Tommy. <laughs> What would the person not do if she won the lottery? I believe it was pay off student loans. What do you think, Lizzie, Matt, Matt, Miss Maddie? Uh, the same. The same? The same like them. Lizzie? Yeah. You are the same? Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Lisi. Finally, we meet. <laughs> <God. laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Marie. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like you, commentary. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like <laughs> the comment. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we have, um, yeah, apartment and payoff student loans. All right. Question number three, Lizzie, please. Yeah. Why will she open a restaurant? Um. That, that I have to read all of them? Uh, not just the one that you think is the correct answer. Oh, okay. Um, mm, I think she likes to cook. Yep. Miss Maddie, Tommy, do you agree? Yes, the same. She likes yes. to cook. Same. Good. Question number four, uh, Miss Maddie. What would she not travel? Why? I don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah. Tommy, you want to answer that? I think it's she would be left with no money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lisi, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with him. Okay. She would be left with no money. <laughs> I mean, that would be a <laughs> huge problem. Okay. And we have the last question here. Do you think she will win the lottery, Tommy? Um, I don't think she mentioned, now that I see that answer, I don't think she mentioned buying a but ticket. Then, uh, she, she said uh, she didn't buy the ticket. You shouldn't mm -hmm. buy the ticket. How do, do you win the lottery? Okay, yeah. If she doesn't buy a ticket she wouldn't be able to well she won't be able to um, to win the lottery so yeah uh, at the end she just implies that if you don't play you don't win you know 
So let's see if your answers were correct, okay? Now we have the first answer was an apartment, right? Yeah. Okay, can you see the reading here? No. No? No. No. We, well, I just see the question. So, uh, I see the yep. reading. Okay. All right. Miss Maddie, is that correct? Would she buy, uh, I mean, uh, she wouldn't buy an apartment. Is that correct? Yes, because. She she lives in an apartment. She already and, lives in a small apartment, right? Yes, and she, she wants she, to buy a new house. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She wants to buy because a she big has the new apartment house. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. So question number one is correct. Question number two is... What would the person not do if she won the lottery? And you said pay off student loans, right? Yeah. Right. So here we have the first option, right? Some money to charity, give my money to charity and friends. And we have here pay off student loans. For the friends. Now for the friends. She will save money. Yep. So that one was correct. She would give money to friends. She would save money and she would give money to charity, but she didn't mention anything about paying off student loans. Number three, why would she open a restaurant? You said she likes to cook, right? Yep. Okay, that's wrong, she loves to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And the last one, What is this? The last one is, uh, why would she not travel? So it says here, however, I know one thing I would not do is travel. Mm -hmm. So the reason she wouldn't do that is because she has a friend who won 100 grand in the lottery three years ago. She took the money and traveled for three months. Uh, and she ended up having nothing left of the money. So can you imagine spending 100 grand in three months? Can imagine it. Would you do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it probably would take like a week for me to spend that kind of money. Honestly. <laughs> Come on. That's why I don't have it. <laughs> All right. Very good. So at the end, she just says, you can't win if you don't play. Good. Okay. Perfect. Now, do we have any questions about uh, zero, first, or second, or third conditionals? All good. All good. Perfect. Now, let's continue then.
with this mixed conditionals okay are we ready for them yes teacher. all right so the first one we have is the past future conditional okay we have examples here if she had signed up for this key trip last week she would be joining us tomorrow okay now we have a past action that affected or would affect the future okay now for this this is all hypothetical yes right and the mixed conditionals kind of follow the same um the same rules as the rest of the conditionals, the zero, first, second, and third, but in a, their own way, okay? Now, in this case, we're talking about past actions that could have resulted in something different, but in the future, okay? How something in the past, how if you changed something in the past, um, something in the future might be more likely to happen okay all right now that's the first example if she had signed up for the ski trip last week she would be joining us tomorrow okay but in reality she didn't sign up for that for the trip last week so she is not joining us tomorrow Okay, Lisa, can you read the second example, please? Yeah, if Mar had gotten the job instant of Joey, he will be moving to Shanghai. Perfect. If Mark had gotten the job instead of Joe, he would be moving to Shanghai. So that is inferring that Mark didn't get the job and Mark will, as a result of that, is not going to move to Shanghai. Yes? Okay, good. Now, um, the third example, please tell me. Darren hadn't wasted his Christmas bonus gambling in Las Vegas. He will go to Mexico with us next month. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, this means that Darren wasted his Christmas bonus gambling in Las Vegas. And, well, as a result of that, he won't go to Mexico with us next month. Okay. Now, can you give me one personal example? with the past future, think of it. Um, all right, T uh, you have 30 seconds to think of an example with the past future conditional. One example? Yep, one example. Do you have it? Um, one example, something in the past affecting the future.
be something simpler. If I hadn't broken my leg yesterday, I would be able to play the final game tomorrow. Okay? This is something hypothetical because, well, I indeed broke my leg and I will not be able to play the final game tomorrow. Okay? Now, this is all hypothetical, remember. Now, how something, uh, how if something changed in the past affects the way the future would or could go. You have your example? Okay. Tell me. Okay. Um, if I hadn't spent all my money yesterday, I could go shopping today. I will go shopping today. Mm. Okay. I will go shopping later today. So we can make it, you know, a future result. Okay, very good. It's a good example. Thank that you. means that you that you did spend all your money, so you won't go shopping today. Learn later today. Very good. Lizzie, Tommy, who wants to go first? Well, second. Sure. All right. If the coronavirus pandemic hadn't happened, I would be working regular hours. Or I would work better hours. I would be working what? More regular hours or better hours. Okay. Well, um, this is a good example, but this is not a future action or a future result. You know, this is a past present statement. Okay. A past present um, conditional. Okay. Now, yes. if we add it, I will be working more regular hours next month, okay? Or uh, the following weeks or something like that. But inferring that we are talking about the future, then it will be correct, yes? Now, since we're talking about a past future, we need to have this expressions this time expressions to uh if it is if it isn't obvious that we're talking about the future of course yes now it is different the past future from the past present okay all right good perfect great example then lisi Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> um, um, I had a question, teacher. Yeah, go here. ahead. Can we, in this case, uh, can I use like um, uh, the model, the um, model verb like would, could, and may, or not? Mm. Well, yes, it all depends on. Well. <laughs> Yeah, you can use it, but it depends on what context you're talking about or the the context of your um of your sentence. So say it yeah, and yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh the mine is um if I had seen the film. If I had seen uh -huh, the film. The, 
the, the field. The field. Oh my God. The what? La, la película. The, the film. Película. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I yes. will tell you. I will tell you. Tell you. I would tell what? you. Uh huh. What it's about. Okay. Well, um, again, I think this is a present statement. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is an mm -hmm. action in the past. If I had seen the film, which didn't happen, mm -hmm. I would tell you what it's about. Okay. Now, this, mm -hmm. it, it can be understood as a present statement because you are talking to the person, you know, in that moment. So if you had seen the film, you would tell that person in that moment what the film is about. But since you didn't, then you can't, you know? But that is an action in the mm -hmm. present. Now we're looking for an action in the future. So I will tell you what it's about uh, when, I, oh, okay. when I see you next week and then it changes to a future result for this action yes because you want to tell this person well to to, to their faces oh, that okay. uh, what the movie is about okay. yes maybe to see the reaction maybe to you know to make mm -hmm. it more personal okay but uh, it, it's fine very good only try to make it a future result for a past situation, okay? Mm -hmm. It's easy, it's easy once you once you get used to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, don't okay. worry. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so yeah. let's, <laughs> yep. Okay, let's think of one more example, okay? to make it clear. One more example, please. Yes, Tommy? If I had eaten Mexican yesterday, I would eat it again next week. Or I wouldn't eat it again until next week. Perhaps that's better. All right, yeah. I wouldn't. Perfect. That's very good. That's a past action that, well, didn't happen, that could have resulted in this in the future, right? Yes. Perfect, very good. Maddie, you have it? I think, but I don't do. Get me, come on. If I hadn't left USA. If I hadn't left. Left? USA. I could be living in California in the in this in Christmas in Christmas mm. or maybe in this month okay um 
even if you used a a feature a time expression for the feature you have here i would be living in california so that's a present that's a present statement okay perhaps you can say i would celebrate I would uh, celebrate Christmas there. Oh, in California. So um, since we have the context uh, right now, we are in November, Christmas is something in the future, right? So if you hadn't left the US, that's a past, then you would celebrate Christmas in California, the future. Yes? Okay, very good. <laughs> now try to pay attention to that, to those, uh, the, the tenses that you use, okay? They might seem they are, for example, in this case, the future, but you are using the present, uh, the, the present continuous, I, I will be leaving, will be leaving. So that's something that started, but it hasn't ended. It's an ongoing action, therefore is it present. All right, good. Lissy, you have one more example for us? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, if I hadn't spoke Spanish. If I hadn't. I will be moving to USA. Uh, can you repeat it, please? If I hadn't spoke Spanish. If I hadn't spoken yep. Spanish. Uh, if I hadn't spoke Spanish. Uh huh. Spanish. Yeah, I will be moving to USA. I will be moving to USA. I will leave. I'm sorry. There's something with your microphone. Uh, moving. Or or perhaps my 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 headset. I don't know. Uh, well, maybe that was my, um, that was me, because I was having the volume down. So, uh, the other one is I will be moving. Okay, be moving to US. To to the US. Ah, uh, yeah. When? When? Next week, next month, and more in a couple next of hours. Week. Not next week. Next week. Okay. Next month. So, <laughs> next month. Okay. That sounds better. You have more time to plan it. <laughs> Mutton. Yeah. <laughs> month. There it is. Okay. If I hadn't spoken Spanish, uh, okay. I would be I would be moving to the US next month. Okay. Yeah, that's a good that's a good example. Very good. Okay, so is the past future uh clear? We have something hypothetical in the past affecting something hypothetical in the future. Is it clear? Yes. All right, very good. Let's move on. Can I erase all the examples? Yes. Yep. Very good. All right. Now we have here the present past. <laughs> 
Um, all right, let's read the examples. Miss Maddie, please read the first one. If I were rich, I would have the boat that Ferrari we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what this is, what this means is that you are not in fact rich <laughs> and therefore you didn't buy the Ferrari you saw yesterday, okay? So it's a, a present action affecting the past, yes? Again, this is all hypothetical, right? I would have bought that Ferrari. You didn't buy it, but you, you would have bought it if you had had the money mm -hmm. or if you had the money right now. Yes. Okay, I'll take your silence as a yes. Lizzie, please, the second one, let's read it. If Sam spoke Russian, he will have translated the letter for you. But Sam doesn't speak Russian, and that is why he didn't translate the letter. Very good. So, Sam doesn't speak Russian. That is an action in the present that affects or affected the past in a hypothetical way, okay? And the last one, Tommy, please. If I didn't have to work so much, I would have gone to the party last night. But yes. I have to work a lot and that's why I didn't go to the party. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So, um, this might be confusing because we're talking about the present with the simple past, right? But these are actions, these are hypothetical, these are hypothetical um, actions in the present, correct? That might have affected the past. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> my voice is changing again. So, um, yes, so let's think of one example each, okay? Again, you have 30 seconds. Uh, I'll be writing my example right here, and then we can we can share our our example. You have your examples? Yeah. Okay. Let's begin. <coughs> this is 
Lizzie, you go first. Okay. Um, if I were the president of the company, mm -hmm. I will have, I will have built a new building. All right. If I were the CEO of the company, I would have built a new building. Um, if I were uh, the president and CEO, what, what does that mean? The CEO is like the head of the company, the like oh. uh, the the very the very top of the company, which is pretty much the same as the president. Oh, really? But that, yeah, oh. but uh, that's actually the name, the CEO. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> they are like CEO, like that. Ah, know? okay, then. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, I, okay. I, I honestly cannot remember what they mean <laughs> right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll look for it and I'll tell you. I'll let you know. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's corporate <laughs> executive, and I believe it's official. Corporate. Corporate executive official. Okay. okay. Well, I there you have it. I'm not entirely sure about the O. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> chief. It's my wife tells me it's chief executive officer. Oh, okay. okay. There you have it then. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tommy. No problem. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Tommy, you want to go next? Sure. If I spoke French, I would have gone to Paris on vacation. Perfect. Very good. But you didn't. And you do. I mean, you could, right? It's. Well, I don't know. I, I'm lost. <laughs> You're not neighbors, right? Now, France, France is like here, and then you. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's Belgium okay. on top of French, France, and then Holland on top of Belgium. Okay, so you're one country apart. Yeah, one very small country apart, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Miss Maddie, your example, please. If I spoke English fluently, nice. I could have passed my exam yesterday. Okay, this is all hypothetical, right? <laughs> yes, of I mean, course. I mean, you did pass your ten. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, very good. Uh, yes, very good examples. So it's a present action or a situation, uh, which can be something like we, um, something we're used to. For example, speaking a language or, you know, things that are not real in the present. For example, if my computer was broken, if I were the CEO of the company, yes? Affecting something in the past. So think of it as a different timeline, you know, like time traveling and all that. You can see it like that. This is your real timeline. And this is the hypothetical timeline, okay? So in this timeline, the first one, you are, well, you're you, you know? But in this timeline, which is a hypothetical situation, these actions happened, okay? So you're just wondering, what if 
what if I, what if I were the CEO? What would I do? Or what would I have done by this time? Yes? So think of it as two timelines. And I mean, for me, it was easier to learn this, <coughs> the, the conditionals and all that with timelines. <laughs> so I, I don't know, maybe I kind of related it to comic books and video games and all that, you know, like what if, what if. So for me, it was easier to learn that to learn this that way. So I'm just passing the tip. What if? All right. Can I erase this? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. No questions with this? <coughs> Present past? All right. Now we have the mixed conditional patterns, past, present, okay? Now, it's not the same as the present past, okay? It is not the same. In this, in this case, the present affects the past, hypothetically. In this case, the past would affect the present, again, hypothetically, yes? Now, let's read the examples. Miss Maddie, number one. <clears throat> if I had won the lottery, I would be rich. Mm -hmm. But you didn't win the lottery in the past. So you are not rich now. <laughs> Lizzie, number two. If I had taken French in high school, I will have more job opportunities. But I didn't take French in high school and I don't have many jobs opportunities. Very good, thank you. Okay. And Tommy, last, the last. If she had been born in the United States, she wouldn't need a visa to work here. But she wasn't born and she does need a visa. Mm -hmm. Very good. So these are actions, the red ones in the past, and we express them with the past perfect, okay? Because they happened before this situation, okay? Before the present situation. Yes? Okay. Now, remember that we use the past perfect to talk about the past in conditionals. We use the past to talk about the present in conditionals and well the present we use it for the zero conditional. Okay? And also the first conditional but for the future only. So uh, give me one example each with this conditional. Okay? Something that happened uh, that, okay, Lizzie? Yeah, in this case, like, um, we are just in the present. So in this case, it's um, able, we can use the model verbs. Yes, in this say? case, yeah, in this what? case, it is uh, actually kind of mandatory that you use the models for the mm. present because we're talking about hypothetical situations. Yes? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so let's think of an example with this past present.
Are you ready? I understand. Sure. Okay. Go ahead, Tommy, please. Enlighten us. If the coronavirus pandemic hadn't occurred, I would be working regular hours now. Perfect. <laughs> That's cheating, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but it's also good that it's that is essentially the same without adding a tomorrow yep. or next week word. Yep, that's right. <laughs> It, it honestly crossed my mind that you would use the same example. <laughs> mm -hmm. If the coronavirus pandemic hadn't occurred, I would be working regular hours. Perfect. <clears throat> Miss Maddie. If I had eaten healthy food, if I hadn't, what? If I had eaten salty food. If I had. <laughs> if I had. Eaten the, the comer. Okay. <laughs> Healthy. Food. Okay. I didn't need diet. Yes. <coughs> Very good. If I had eaten healthy food, I wouldn't need a diet. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. And Lizzie. Yeah. Um, if I hadn't eaten so much, I would not have a stomach stomachache. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a stomachache. Very good. If I hadn't eaten so much, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a summer cake. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, very good. Um, is this is this clear? The past present conditional. Yes, remember it is not the same as the present past conditional. Okay, in this case, the present is not affecting the future, I mean the past. Correct? In this case, the past is affecting the present. <clears throat> yes? Yeah. Okay, good. Questions? Not yet. Nope, okay, good. 
let's continue. Now, we have here the future past conditional, okay? For the future past conditional, we have these examples, okay? Again, we are talking about um, something in the future, something already planned in the future. Again, uh, in this case, we're not talking hypothetically about the future. We're talking about something that is already set for a date in the future, yes, or a time in the future. But that plan or that that specific thing in the future already set affecting the past, yes? Some past decisions, some past actions that we made or, or that we did, yes? So <clears throat> let's read the, the examples. Number one, please, uh, Tommy. If I weren't going on my business trip next week, I would have accepted that new assignment at work. Mm -hmm. But you are going to a, uh, you're going to go on a business trip next week. And that's why you didn't accept that new assignment at work. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> again, we have this action that is already planned. That's something that we cannot change. Even though it's in the future, it's something we cannot change. Okay. And this other action, which didn't happen because of this future thing. In this case, you didn't accept the new assignment because you're going on a business trip next week. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to do it. <clears throat> uh, Lissy, number two, please. Yeah, um, if my parents weren't, weren't coming this weekend, I will have planned a nice trip just for the two of you as to Napa Valley. But my parents yes. are going. Oh, only the first one. Sorry? Uh, did I have to read the other one? But my parents are going to come this week? No, no. Oh, uh, <laughs> if you want it. No, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were reading it. That's why I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, but in this case, <laughs> in this case, this plan cannot be changed, right? It's already said that uh, your parents are coming this weekend. You cannot do anything about that. So you had to decline or you had to... Um, you had to take this for another time, okay? And Miss Maddie, please, the last one. <clears throat> if Donald weren't making us a big dinner tonight, I would have to just that we go to that nice Italian restaurant. Continue. Thank you. Um, no, it's okay. So it's implying that well, uh, Donna is going to make is a big dinner tonight. So well, you didn't suggest anything mm -hmm. because she's already you already have the plan. You're you already have this plan. Mm -hmm. So. This is why, or this is what uh, we use the future past for, okay? Things that didn't happen because you had something else planned, okay? That kind of crossed the, um, or uh, happened to be at the same time as the future plan, you see? <clears throat> So let's think of an example.
If you have it already, please let me know so we can write it. Sure. All right, bring it. If we didn't have Halloween activities tomorrow night, I would have gone bed to bed early. I would have gone to bed early. Yeah. I'll watch your movie. <clears throat> yes. Very good. So this means that you have Halloween activities tomorrow night and you are not going to bed early. <laughs> so good luck with that if it's for you. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know if about going to bed early, but maybe we'll make it. <laughs> <clears throat> Hopefully you will. <laughs> All right, Miss Maddie, Lizzie, who wants to go next? Yeah, or you need more time? Okay, let me know, please, when, you, when you're ready. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> I'm ready. Okay, bring it. If, if I didn't have many bills to pay, mm -hmm. I would have Plain, plain it. I would have plain, plain. Played? Yes. No, plain the, the planner. I would have planned. Planned, ah, uh, planned. <clears throat> Vacation mm -hmm. to Paris. Vacation to Paris. I would have planned a trip to Paris or, yeah, yeah, it, it makes more sense like that. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, what's that? Is that you? Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm here. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. Now, um, notice that in this future plans we use the future i mean the the past continuous yes for future plans but we use this because well it's a, a conditional remember for the present we use the past now for plans in the in the future i mean not um when we're not talking about conditionals for the future, we can use will or the, uh, the present continuous for plans in the future. Yes. Now, in this case, we're using if I weren't going on my business trip next week. So if I weren't going means that what well, you're talking about a condition and since it's in the future, we use the past continuous, okay? Because for the present in conditionals, we use just the past. I don't know if that made sense. I mean, it did for me. <laughs> it 
is that um, was that clear, guys? <laughs> don't, don't leave me hanging, please. Hello. Okay, I'll assume it was I'm clear. I'm sorry, and um, I'm here. Um, Is everything okay? Yes, I just answered um, a question about something here in my house. I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry. Lizzy, uh, we're ready for your example. Oh, sure. Um, if I weren't so shy. Um, not quite. We're not talking about the present. We're talking about the future. Oh, that yeah, my bad. No, 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 erase uh -huh. it. <laughs> a, a future uh, plan. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> it's mine. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What if are you went... making? If I... No, if they weren't traveling, because I changed everything. Okay, go ahead. If, I, if um, they weren't traveling, traveling to France, to France on Sunday. On Sunday, <clears throat> um, they will have <clears throat> planned. They will have planned. They would have planned. Mm. Yeah, planned. Um, to attend. Would have planned mm -hmm. to attend your birthday party. Uh, I couldn't get that. Okay, to attend. Okay, they would have your... planned. Okay, to attend. Uh huh. Your birthday party. I'm guessing a birthday party. Yeah. But uh huh. Okay, a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Like that? Perfect. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Yeah, very good. If they weren't traveling to France on Sunday, they would have planned to attend a birthday party. <clears throat> yes. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. We're going to say five more minutes after the time, okay? Because we started we started a little late. <laughs> Is that okay? Yes, I am cooking too. <laughs> You're cooking? At Why the same are you time cooking? with my glass. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're all <laughs> intrigued about your cooking. What is it? <clears throat> Oh, I don't, I didn't understand. We are all intrigued about your cooking. What are you making? Uh, ponche? I don't know how do you say ponche in English. Uh, it can be like eggnog or nog, something like that. Ponche de frutas? Yeah. Uh, ponche? <laughs> 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 Hold on, let me look for it. I mean, like a uh, piloncillo? No. My my guessing is that it is eggnog or something like that. <laughs> or fruit punch. That's that's something different. Yeah, fruit punch. Fruit so, punch? Yeah, fruit punch, yes. Punch. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> All right. 
Well, uh, save us some, please. We would like to taste it. Okay, uh, let's continue. Can I erase this? Yes. Okay, we're going to see one more conditional, which is <clears throat> the present future. All right. So for the present future, we have an action in the present affecting hypothetical, well, a, a hypothetical action in the present affecting the future. Okay. So let's let's get started with the examples. Miss Maddie, please, the first one. If I didn't have so much vacation time, I could go with you on the cruise. The cruise. Cruise to Alaska next week. Mm -hmm. Very good. But you do have a lot of vacation time. Therefore, you can go or you will go to the trip next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Lizzie, please, the second one. Um, if Cindy were more a creat creative. Creative. Uh, creative, sorry. Mm -hmm. The company will send her to New York to work on the new advert. Tyson, what's the last word? Uh, com campaign? Campaign, campaign. Campaign, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. If she were more creative, if she was more creative, the company would send her to New York to work on the new advertising campaign. Okay, but she is not creative or she's not creative enough right now. So the company won't send her to New York to work on the new campaign. Tommy, the next one, please. If Dan weren't so nice, he wouldn't be tutoring you in math tonight. Mm -hmm. But, well, he is nice. He's a nice guy. So he's helping you with math tonight. Mm -hmm. Very good. <clears throat> okay, now let's think of something in the present, something hypothetical in the present uh, affecting the future. Okay, again, these future things are not likely to happen, okay, because of the present situation. Okay, well, they they could be likely to happen depending on the context but it is all hypothetical okay since it's not something uh, happening right now it, it there's no way that can affect the future okay so we're talking about unlikely things to happen in the future because we're talking about things uh, in the present that are not real okay Okay, so let's think of one more example. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. 
No. Okay. Let me know when you when you finish, please. All right, Lizzie. Yeah. Um. If I were you, I will come. I will call. Um, Gary. Can, can you repeat it? If I what? Yeah. If I were you. If I were you. Mm -hmm. I will call Jerry and apologize. Okay, good. So, this looks a lot like um, the second conditional, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. So, so, um, <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> this is a good example, but uh, mm -hmm. this is a hypothetical situation in the future. Not, uh, it's not like uh, something planned or something already planned or set for the future. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, All right. it is correct or is not correct? Uh, it is grammatically correct, but for uh -huh. this mixed conditional, I don't, I, I don't think it is quite proper. So maybe we can, uh, we can, we can change it a little bit. Mm -hmm. so if I were you, I would. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call Jerry tonight. Okay, that sounds better. Now, this is inferring that this person you're talking about is planning on calling Jerry tonight. Yes? Mm. So we're yeah. giving it a time or we're giving it a, yeah, a time in the, in the future. Yes? With mm -hmm. tonight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Now, this is a present future. If I were you, I wouldn't call Jerry tonight. Maybe mm -hmm. I would call him, I don't know, I would call him tomorrow morning. I would call him next week. Yes? Yeah. I got it. But again, we have it, we have this time or this action in the future. Oh, yeah, I, I got it already. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Is it clear? Yes, yes. Yeah, it okay, is good. clear now. <laughs> All right, good. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Miss Maddie, Tommy, who wants to go next? Me? Okay, go ahead. If I didn't have many songs, I didn't Did have dance. Any songs? I didn't dance. I wouldn't. Then, I wouldn't. I didn't dance. But then, next week in the party. Okay, if I didn't have many sons, I wouldn't dance with them next week at the party. Uh, we can change it a little bit. I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't uh, have I wouldn't be dancing to to dance with uh -huh. next week at the party or like Tommy said I wouldn't be dancing next week blah, blah, blah. okay yes Yes. Very good. <coughs> so notice notice something here that um, we're talking about something in the present, which is uh, you having many sons, and something uh, a plan in the future, which is the party. Yes, the party next week. Now the action in that party is the thing that is going to be affected by the present action or the present activity. Yes? Which in this case is you having many sounds. So it it is affecting the the what what's going to happen at the party next week. Yes? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Tommy. If I didn't have a semi preparation course, I would be playing a lot of video games at night next week. Perfect. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> I'm kidding. Please don't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a very good example. Very I feel good attacked. example. <laughs> I feel attacked, but don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, is the present future um, clear? I mean, mm -hmm. do you have any questions about this? No? All good? All right. All, All right, right, perfect. In my case, if I didn't have a semi prep course, <laughs> I will be paying a lot of bills that I have to pay. <laughs> it's a great example. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Well, um, I think that that's it for today. Thank you very much for coming. It was a good class. Now, tell me, um, give me some comments on the class. What did you like? Did you learn something new? Was it a review? What do you think? Talk to me. It was good. It was a review. Uh, okay. Mostly it's a review because you just take elements of one condition and applying them to the other. Exactly. But it's not that difficult. Yes. <laughs> Miss Maddie. Very difficult to me. What do you think? I I I really learned many things in this class because I um, didn't know about the mixed uh, mixed conditionals. Mixed conditionals, and I I have to study a lot and practice a lot because I have to to, to practice. Yeah. To know more about these topics. Okay. Thank you. Now, thank you for being here. No, Lizzie, you, what do you think? You can easily do them. It's just when they tell you what's a mixed conditional, you don't remember anymore. But if they ask you, like, hey, can you tell me something that happened in the past that affects your future, you can easily make that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Try to see it uh, from a different point of view, and that's it. Which, that's what it is, actually. Oh, well, in my case, uh, well, I, I like um, my classmate says, I have to practice more than uh, I learn something. 
else, like um, how to use um, the different conditionals. Because I, I knew something, but not, not all the things that you teach me today. So okay. I, I, I have to study more. <laughs> well, not study. Well, I study and practice both things. But yeah, uh, I, I learned a lot of things too. Yeah. Right. Practice is keen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It was nice to see your face. <laughs> yes, Lizzie. <laughs> Thank you for giving us Thank that you. honor. I will yes. do it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Amiga. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, okay. on Monday, because tomorrow we don't have a no, class. Tomorrow, yeah. teacher. Lizzie <laughs> <say> tomorrow. <laughs> what? Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Now, yeah. I don't know. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Okay, on uh, Monday, well, on Monday. Uh, thank you very much for being here today. <laughs> yes, I will <laughs> see you on Monday. If if you want to do something tomorrow, please, it would be not class related. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so maybe buy me a drink or whatever. I'm down for it. For a class, <laughs> okay. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much again and have a lovely weekend. Same, same Enjoy. as well. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, Mati. Bye, Ellie. Bye, Tommy. Tommy. Bye, Tommy. Bye, girls. Bye, Tommy.